Hey guys, Mosu with Negron Tech here, and today I'm going to do a quick uh, build update. This is uh, day two, the end of day two. Uh, I ended up being pretty sick, and you could probably tell by my voice, but I wasn't able to push too hard this weekend. Currently, I'm only at level 90. Uh, normally a little bit faster in day two, but I am, uh, again, this is just a purely solo self-found character. I almost exclusively play SSF over the years now. And uh, before I get into the gear... Overall, the build is doing excellent. This is the first time I started as Berserker. Normally, I do Slayer, maybe uh, Slayer Slams or a different variation of Slayer because that's my favorite Ascendancy. But it is a little bit underwhelming. But Berserker, again, if you saw my actual build guide, like the power that Berserker has innately is just absolutely massive, right? So, specking War Cries, getting a 50% more multiplier, a 40% more multiplier tripling your rage effect and getting the rage out on hits it just absolutely carries you through the campaign and if you are uh haven't started the build yet or you want to do a build like this and you want to go to the campaign it's ridiculously good and it's all because of the power that war christ gets once you get your first incendiary point uh warbringer it's just it's really nuts like one of the smoothest campaigns i've had just to note that you know i didn't mention in the last video but in the campaign Use Purity of Elements as your 50% uh, multiplier for a reservation because it is just so goddamn good, especially when you get to like Act 7, 8, and it gets a little bit more difficult with the chill, the ignites, and stuff like that. Very, 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 very good. It carried me through the campaign. So, I just do want to talk about my Atlas strategy a little bit because normally what I do is uh, Rush Essence, but this league I decided not to. So, I did a lot more map stuff, and because it is League Start and I'm solo self found, can't buy any good gear. I actually rushed uh, the Necropolis over here for reduced modifier effects because the Haunted modifiers are just, like, ridiculous. And what I believe this does is that it actually reduces the difficulty that the modifiers have. Like, each each pack has uh, more health. Each, like, remaining monster in the pack has more this or that. So, like, that's why I did it. I do want to go down this side and get this uh, Necropolis. I think it's over here. Leave an additional corpse make it a little bit easier for course farming, but I'm not sure. Besides that, you know, the, you know, I did the Carrick maps, uh, and then Necropolis from there. I went for June. I actually got these for the first thing that I did, and I got a lot of June maps from that. And then from there, did a little bit of Expedition, a little bit of Expedition, and June, and June. And it actually worked out really well, because I actually got a pretty insane, unique helm. <laughs> I got Devouring Deed. I'm from uh, Katarina, so that was awesome. But I do want to farm up, maybe get like a six staff and do a build around that. But that was the Atlas strategy. Um, I can't really give you an honest review of it. But, you know, the, the main thing is that trying to get some items from June, trying to get the Elrion craft, trying to get some uh, mastermind gear, see if we can get a lot of veiled orbs. I'm trying to farm those hard because it's going to be really, really important in SSF for the end game crafting. You know, lock prefixes or lock, lock suffixes and then, you know, Veil Dorp. Hopefully, I, you know, I haven't seen how it works. I didn't read the changes in, 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 in depth, but we'll see. And then again, just spamming Expedition with ROG focus, trying to get gear for now. So that was my Atlas strategy. Talking about the gear, um, pretty insane start for me, right? So initially, and I don't know if I talked about this specifically in the last video, but I, I mentioned crafting the axe. And my big thing with playing the game was that I changed my loot filter to show every single Karui and Val Axe, right? So every single Val or Karui Axe that I found on the ground, I picked up and I freaking out it, orb the binding it, gave it a few uh, alt regals, and I would try to get my weapon like that. So I, even with all that said, I actually got a, I don't know what t tier the Congors is, but this, like getting something like this early, I didn't use it because it's a mace. I think axes are so much better than maces, but getting something like this early maps is like kind of nuts. I think I got this in like yellow maps, but I already had, I think, this one. So all you want to do is find one good affix. Like this one I had really early. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm sick. As I said. So I just pretty much alt spam that I got a T3 Fizz. For something, for something like this build, especially solo cell phone all you need is one to two good rolls whether it's the increased fizz the flat fizz just try to get one or two usable rolls and then believe it or not the karui chopper i actually got this from the league mechanic that's right so I, when i went to the league mechanic what i did with the corpses is that i uh didn't realize this at the league star but you could pretty much just keep putting i thought it was only uh like four or five a craft you could 
fill up the whole grave with crafts. So what you really want to do, you know, your morgue, you want a, com a combined around a plus 200 to physical modifier tiers. Maybe around at least a uh, combined like 1,000 increase uh, physical chance. I set it up for uh, minus one explicit might even be a good idea just to get four explicits. So you have... Uh, Maybe a better chance to know later on. You can, you can, you might even be able to. Probably the best idea, I think, would maybe be doing uh, two corpses of minus. Uh, so you get minus one explicit twice, minus two. Try to make a three rare axe. Maybe you only need minus one explicit. I'm not sure, but try to get a three rare axe. Get all the uh, plus fizz. Get around 200. Get about 1,000 percent increased chance for fizz modifier. And then you also want to get some speed. So that's exactly how I crafted this, but I didn't get that much, uh... Thank you. So I didn't get that much, uh... Uh, increased... I didn't get that much increased chance, or plus, I had ended up like... I think this one was maybe... I think it was 200, plus 200 fizz. Close to maybe 500% increased uh, fizz chance. And then I had increased uh, two increased speeds and two plus speeds. And this is what I ended up with. So the speeds are really, really good because I think the only speed modifier on our uh, melee weapon is going to be attack speed. So you're going to hit that more than likely. And then for the Fizz, I ended up getting a T2 tempered, which is like nuts. The lightning sucks. The bleed and the stun duration is pretty useless. But again, solo cell phone, you just need two weapons. And even with this axe, with quality and crafting uh the second highest fizz from the crafting bench, we get a we get a 529 top end axe, which is like amazing, right? And the attack speed is really, 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 really good because now with that reduced attack speed, well, increased attack speed, we can now use pulverized support. That 40, 47% more multiplier is huge. The less attack speed from that and uh, Earth Shatter is a lot, but you can make up for it by having a local uh high attack speed roll so if you get if you get t2 celebration attack speed you have the ability to just like start using pulverize and you also have the ability to not uh giga invest in attack speed right so like that's really 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 nice so that's the gear uh again pick up everything you can like for the axes like everything else in my gear is not too good i, I was on a four link up until level 90 guys so it's actually like ridiculous and then like when i hit level 90 all my luck happened and i ended up looting uh i'll show the clip real quick i ended up looting four <laughs> six links but none of them were usable from one of the mobs which is fine but you know nothing crazy i got a stig uh, sticky advice do some abyss when i can one thing to note here is that i don't know if it was always like this um but when you loot from june you do get to see the rolls, but getting an Elrion uh, craft, a T1, I've never seen this in my whole... Well, maybe I'm stupid, but I've never seen it to where it got to minus 10. I always thought it was plus, minus 6, minus 7. So I don't know if this is new, but this changes a lot because if you can get a really good drop off the ground of a minus 10, you really only need one more minus and then combine that with uh, the life mastery that I'm using for uh, skills called life except 30% mana very 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 good so that's one thing to know everything else you know try to get a little bit of life a little bit of resist when you can got a minus four total so this minus four is kind of the same i didn't have the chaos orb when i uh unveiled this i think or no i got unlucky with the unveil but you know not, nothing crazy really just really really basic gear um if you want to look up the care care on a pov ninja that's the name guts underscore giga chat underscore slammer and uh, that's pretty much it i kept most of my dex items uh dex things low because why not? Uh, 79 decks. What the hell? Is that not working now? Huh. Well, you know, just keep keep those low. No big deal. And uh, going into the POB to actually see the damage. Uh, it's very, very good at this stage of the game. Like, as soon as like, you get to maps and, like, by the time I was at yellows, I was almost at, like, 750 combined DPS. It was kind of nuts. So that's the spike. We'll do the initial hit. Again, initial hit, half a mil DPS. And then, again, you're going to hit two spikes. So, uh, 700, I'm at, uh, 1.2 mil DPS right now at level 90, which is very, very good. Nothing, no custom modifiers. The only thing that we have is Intimidate. We don't even have MAME because I don't have the links for Ancestral War Chief MAME yet. Uh, we do have Endurance Chargers. 20 Rage, again, I talked about in the last video. A lot of the times when you're fighting bosses, um, with increased power, uh, Master, you're going to be able to max out your Rage. 
and then from there you you know get the double damage so like really a lot of the times realistically you could you you, you will be like close to 60 range but again just super conservative 20 range is uh nice in general no onslaught because we don't have it yet in blood stance prime maximum effect not even initial effect uh we'll keep it at that guardian pinnacle so like very very conservative we are fortified very conservative pob and you still see at level 90 with uh terrible gear you're at 1.2 million dps and again the same thing i talked about the reason why it's such a good starter is that the berserker ascendancy in and of itself and war cries bring you a lot a lot of power like if you just uncheck a couple of these war cries you see how like bad the damage gets like 183 and again it, it with the cooldown two uses it like increases the damage that way but that's why so super 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 good a couple notes that i am not going impale yet um it's not worth it according to the pob which is fine it normally takes off at least when you get a six link and then maybe we'll switch out uh depending on an ending game weapon we might switch out fortify or uh pulverize now fist of war the reason why i'm using fist of war is because again i talked about it in the last video it has to me a little bit more value when it comes to uh just general aoe clear and like you really do get screen wide clear with fist of war almost like a little bit over here a little bit over there no uh screen wide clear which is fine but the mtx is just really really cool too and i just i love fist of war as a support it might not be mathematically the best option but it's just visually super super pleasing getting those red spikes massive aoe it's just really 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 cool so that's why i use it um, no brutality. I think we use a pulverize instead because it's just a better more multiplier, and because we have the local attack speed, we're able to justify having the double uh, melee and pulverize, and that's pretty much it. I got quality from Earth Shadow just from uh, the uh, vendor gem recipe, and then I did uh, not Uber Lab. Uber Lab, I double actually qualled this in Uber Lab, and I got to like 18% qual that way, and then I used two more uh, gem cutters. So that's it think i've gone over everything if you guys have any questions in the comments let me know um again no impale yet it's not worth it i have this note over here pretty much because of the uh 60 increased damage and again the reduced attack speed we can justify it because we have the low uh the high attack speed row t2 or higher on our weapon uh we could also go increase damage against hits get reservation here get some life here i think uh long-term plans i'm actually gonna go uh towards uh, evasion mastery and i might actually uh fix my gear to where i have a uh, helmet body armor gloves and boots all have evasion rating the reason why this is a viable option is because ben's helmet is now uh uber shaper drop don't know how long it's going to take me to get to uber shaper if i can even kill it i haven't done the ubers on a uh, solo cell phone yet um but pretty much we're going to be locked into a rare helmet for a long time and because of that now we have a legitimate chance, even as a Berserker, with with because I know Slayer, they get impact right here for, for the uh, increased global accuracy. We have a very good chance to get another 40% more multiplier here because we have a helmet rare that we can get attack speed on, right? So it frees up a unique slot. So what's going to happen is that now you can get attack speed, rings, amulet, two rings, amulet, gloves. I think I think you get on gloves, but 100% you get on the boots too. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, still need to level up some sting and max res here. Uh, another thing to know, I talked about purity of elements for the campaign. I used pur purity of elements for mapping until maybe like 85. Until I got my resistant order. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you want, I'll just show a little bit of a map real quick. Um, just a T11, nothing crazy. Can't do that. Uh, for here, pretty much just... Uh, ooh. So like a lot of the bad damaging uh, mods... Make sure you move them, get them off the plus, say must minus one modifier tier. That's a dangerous mod, especially because I don't have a lot of chaos res right now. And uh, like quantity of items will go plus uh, pack size, get more quantity of items. Think about like, yeah, minus 40. So not really, really good with the chaos res. But general, again, mapping is pretty simple. You go in there and you smash. And you see the damage is very, very, very good for early maps. It's nothing crazy. It's not broken. Again, I like guys. I'm a, I'm a casual player, man. You know, nothing crazy. And this the, the clear is pretty damn good. Another thing to know about the skills is that I am not doing cast on cast uh, cast with damage taken berserk. I've gone pretty much to pressing another button and just controlling it because I press all these buttons anyway. It doesn't bother me too much. So that's one thing to know. 
but I know a lot of people might bother you, so you can do that. You can also do automation with uh, Berserk and Blood Rage, but the issue with that is that, um, this might sound dumb, but at the end of the day, this is like a video game, and the actual, the sound effects, the visuals, it all goes into why I play this build and why I like Berserker and Slam so much, like, huh. <laughs> I, I can't get enough of it right, but pretty much um, the thing about using automation with Blood Rage and Berserk is that the sound effect for uh, Blood Rage is utter, uh, can't, like, it's, it feels so bad to actually use. And again, the reason why I like June so much is because you never know. You could just get, like, you could find, like, a Valax or, like, maybe a two good usable rolls and then unveil. You might unveil something sick, so that's why I'm doing it. Um... Nothing crazy, but yeah, like the blood rage, it constantly will do like a super loud sound effect, and I won't show it, but um, it's just super annoying. But like, it's I don't know, guys. Like to me, this is a very, very good starter build, super solid. You know, T11 map, get uh, over 1. mil DPS, super easy with super crappy gear, and you might be looking at the axe and saying you're really, really lucky, but guys, it, it, you're really not. Like it's really, really, really damn easy. To get like at least politics. something, like I'm, I'm telling you guys, like it, like you just get everything you can and and you'll be fine. Like you'll find something usable on the ground. I'm telling you, I've never had to do uh, any modifiers, um, any uh, vendor rep re recipes with uh, belts and uh, crap like that. And let me get out of here real quick. I'll go right back. But again, that's it. Nothing crazy. Pretty pretty smooth build. I I I love it. I really 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 love slams and. Uh, I'm interested to see how much further I can push it, especially with Necropolis crafting. So, hope you guys uh, have a good one. Mosu and Negron Tech here. Take care.